Rufus has come forward as well. In it comes. It's there by Chapel. We said earlier. We said earlier the man likes to get forward and score some goals. This punch from the keeper. Muscle White. Muscle White came out to meet him, but Chapel got there first. And just tucked it straight into the net. I think every kick, every set piece will be calling Phil Chapel forward. It's worked so far. Sturgis. Lisby. Sturgis. Cleared by Aspen. A bit too tight there for the youngsters. And it's a missed kick. The way comes to number 10, Naylor. Barnes is coming across to close him down, which he does well. And he gets it inside there. Number 10, Tony Naylor. Scored 30 goals since he's with the side since 1994. And he has equalised. This kick came from Richard Rufus, went underneath his leg. So, so as the uh, afternoon draws in, it's going to get colder now this afternoon. Pitch might get a little bit harder. And again, make difficult, things difficult for the sides. So there's a bit of trouble here for Charlton. Difficulty there and a goal from Tony Naylor. That's his second. And another defensive error. Rufus and Chapel failing to clear the ball when they had it. And Tony Naylor, like he picked up straight away in the first half. When there's a mistake by Rufus, has picked up in the second half. A mistake by the back two again. Rufus didn't clear it. Filled a Chapel. Chapel tried to turn inside. And Naylor picks it back up. And I think Mike Salmon's going to be quite happy this afternoon. He's really had a save to make. And then, on the other hand, he's got two goals in the back of his net. Another mistake there. Chapel's clearance hasn't gone away. This time, McCarthy's there. Naylor's in the middle. Here he is for Hattrick. And here's his Hattrick. There's the Hattrick with the number 10, Tony Naylor. And Phil Chapel, who went to clear the ball on this side was robbed by John McCarthy who sprinted down the Port Vale right. John the Fence was coming across. A great cross from McCarthy driven across the front and Tony